Hey now, everybody. Welcome to the new playthrough. We are playing Breath of Fire for the Super NES. Let's, uh, waste time watching the intro. <laughs> this game was actually made by Capcom, but it was published by Squaresoft because they did the localization in America. A great music, too. I think the same woman who did the music for this did, uh, like, Go Super Ghosts and Goblins, and, you know, a bunch of other Capcom games. But if you listen to this whole song, it shows a whole intro that shows the, a little bit of the backstory. I'd like to show you guys that. It's been a long time since I played Breath of Fire. Now, I am actually playing the Super NES version, which is the original. And I know I'll get people asking me, well, Necro, uh, why aren't you uh, playing the Game Boy Advance version? And I would say the reason that I'm playing the Game Boy Advance version, not playing the Game Boy Advance version, is because um, the graphics are a little weird. Um, they did some enhancing, like they did some little bit of redrawing, but the whole thing is just a little too bright for my tastes. And Breath of Fire, despite being a you know a multicolored cartoonish Capcom game, it has sort of a dark themes to it, and I think that the Super NES version looks better. Also, they did not do anything to the Game Boy Advance version to change the text. So, the poor translation that Ted Woolsey did is still present, so I might as well not bother, you know? So here's the intro. I always like this. People live and die as countless as the stars in the sky as fleeting as foam on water. You know, when I was a kid, I thought that graphic was so cool. Now I can shit out a better Starfield. Why are we brought into this world only to depart so quickly? This, by the way, has nothing to do with the game. <laughs> On a cosmic scale, our lives flash by in the blink of an eye. And I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. I'm just realizing now that they basically just pasted the same image over another layer. Stretched it slightly. Now this has something to do with the game. The Dragon Clan built a mighty empire, then faded fast like a falling star. This is this intro is the reason I think Breath of Fire 4 is not a prequel. During their short reign, the dragons fought meaningless battles in pursuit of empty dreams. <laughs> Now an ominous force emerges to repeat the cycle. I think the first two or three videos are going to all be prologue. Because there's a long prologue to the game. This new menace is the clan of Dark Dragons. And I bet you they called themselves that completely without irony. We're the good guys, right? The Dark Dragons? There's Zog and Judas, which they mistranslated as Jade. Forgetting the dragons once laid waste to the land. By the way, I'll be saying the correct names, even if it's displayed wrong on the screen. Why would you trust a guy named Judas anyway? Come on. Seriously. Even if you're, like, not, like, you know, into the Bible or anything, you, you should know. The Dark Dragon Clan again plunges the world into chaos. It's like, uh, hey, what's your name? Benedict Arnold? Yeah, you sound like a good guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brutus? Oh, yes, Brutus. Yes, you're not gonna stab me. Oh, there's Gary, or Gilliam, or Bo. Whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, he got hit. Oh, he got hit again. Even the cutscenes are turn-based. Fuck you! Oh, fuck, I got hit again. Oh, God. I can take so many arrows. Lightning! And then the guy just walks away, you know, turns into a Why didn't you turn into a dragon for the battle? They never think to do that. Fucking assholes. Using new powers given by a mysterious goddess, the dragons engage in global conquest. I gotta sneeze. Fire! Whoa! That was a hell of a sneeze. Who is this dark power that grants evil wishes? Holy shit. Oh, blow my nose. Lucky I have. Tissues nearby. Will the light dragons emerge to bring peace to the world? 
Well, there'll only be one, but yes, I will. I never sneezed like that before. Ah, glad you guys could see that. It was fucking gross. The Dark Dragons press on. Somebody commented on one of my videos and said, Your sneezes sound brutal. Like, everything I do is so metal. When I sneeze, it's like fucking fairies drop out of the sky. That's why they don't actually exist, because I sneeze. Before the world is theirs. But that was, that was beyond brutal. Oh my god. Holy shit, Nipples Banna. Before the goddess is revived, you must press start! It's not that much water south of Drogon, they're bullshitting. The light dragons must fight back, and there's the town of Drogon where the game begins, and it sort of sets up the prologue where the dragons are surrounding Drogon. Let's do this thing. What the fuck is that? Somebody named A, level 17? I don't remember that. Oh, I didn't... So I selected it? Shit. Hold on, let me reset the game. I didn't mean to select it. That's some bullshit. Come on. Come on. What's going on here? Ah, maybe I'll reset it again. I think the fast forward fucked it up. Bloody hell. Alright, now I'm not getting past the Squaresoft logo, so... I can't believe this! I'm gonna dump the ROM and, like, load it again. Weird. I was just watching the whole intro. There we go. I just erase that. I don't know what that's all about. Might as well give him the proper name. Sorry, I'm not naming him Assy. He's Ryu. Maybe another character will be Assy. Oh, hold on, that's why. Okay. That's the way I like it to be. And you could set up. What I like about this is you have four buttons that you can set up um, hotkeys. It's so like the A button, I'm going to make it the um, inventory. The X button, I'm going to make magic. The L button, I'm going to make it my... Uh, hmm. Change party members. And the R button will be... Equip. We'll see if I remember that. <laughs> How do I get out of this? No, no, no. Oh, there we go. Now you gotta do this. Okay, yeah. You gotta back out of there. Go to continue. Wake up, warrior. Disaster has struck. We need the power of the dragon. See, so, like, even that cool dragon graphic coming out of the darkness in the Game Boy Advance, it's way too bright and different. I don't know. You'll perish if you don't wake up. Just a remake I didn't care for, and I usually do like Game Boy Advance remakes. But... The village is engulfed in flames. Everything is burning. We must go. Well, fuck. Prologue time. Of course, you can come over here and you can get... a vitality potion. I'll wait to use that until after the prologue. Oh no, fire appearing out of nowhere! I'll stop this fire. Rada Kadabra Kohos Kuspo. Generic magic words ignite! I literally exploded the fire. My magic was once strong, but at my age I can barely douse this fire. Oh, you did a pretty good job. Stop stopping in front of me. So irritating! This building is safe from the flames for the time being. Are uh, you missing the point where the whole upper floor is on fire? Talk to everybody. The fire is so intense, it doesn't seem natural. We woke up surrounded by flames. What have we done to deserve this? Will you touch yourself at night? Let's go. Esma's magic will hold the flames long enough for us to escape. We don't know what caused the fire. Luckily, the people here are safe. Yeah, you're not too safe. Oh, you say the same thing the other one said. This building is safe in flames, but for how long? I don't know. 
Our faith is in Sarah. Her magic will keep us safe. Oh, the humanity. This is horrible. What's up, overalls? Oh, here's Sarah. <laughs> the dark dragons are outside the village. We're surrounded. The dark dragon family is scheming against the other dragon families. Oh, there's only two. I don't know what you're talking about. I hear that Zog, the Dark Dragon King, vowed to conquer the world. He already conquered the damn world. And his first target is the Light Dragons. Zog is an evil fool. He's a shithead and he fucked the frog. Why are they trying to destroy us? He licks goat's balls. Zog fears us. He doesn't know that we've lost the power of the dragon. Well, I'll say it a little louder, why don't you? God, oh God, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I won't sit by while they attack us. I say we act now. If we can't escape, there's only one thing to do. Fight. Uh, we're like farmers? I will. I must use my magic against the forces of evil. Let's go. Of course, Sarah's the only sane one. Wait! We're too weak. Our group will be devastated by their powerful army. We can't give up. Let's show them the spirit of the dragon. Yeah, let's not say we did. Come on, Sarah, let's go. No, I must do my part on my own. Oh, what is she doing? She's doing that glowy thing. Ah, oh, fuck. She's Twilight now. <laughs> what have you done? I've turned him to stone so the fire will not affect him. Apparently you've never went to a science class, but okay. Remember our mission as members of the Light Dragon. We have a mission now? Stone or not, they'll still find us. Ah, oh, she's doing it to everybody. And they mysteriously changed positions. Well, I guess because the other guy got knocked back. They all got, like, knocked back, but whatever. No, why does it have to be you? I'm talking even though I'm a statue. We've suffered enough. I'll take care of the dark dragons. Be strong. When you're a warrior, you'll bring peace to the world. Sure I will. Take care. May the power of the light dragon prevail. I'll try to distract the dark dragons. Sarah, who are you talking to? Hey, someone's there. Told you you shouldn't have talked. She has the power of the dragon. Okay, we're assuming that just by looking at her. Take her to the commander. She's doing her Princess Leia thing. <laughs> we'll search the area later. We must take care of her now. Search the area? The town's only two screens long. I love this game, but I will love making fun of it. Sir, we've captured a light dragon. You set fire to our peaceful community. What do you gain from this? I told you she was Princess Leia. She has a point. My orders were to eliminate all light dragons. I always follow orders. I'm a good boy. I'm just doing my job. Please don't blame me. Oh, he's blaming me. She's blaming me. She's blaming me. Whoa. Run for your lives. Our village has been destroyed. Asshole. Wow, you're strong. Come on. I don't do that. He's going to know exactly where... See, told you. I can't let you interfere with Zog's plans. Nothing personal. We will stop you. No, dodged it. I don't think so. We have the goddess keys. The goddess keys? You're a pretty good scrapper. Too bad you're on the wrong side. Don't come any closer. Oh, he teleported again. What will you do with... Tear. Myria, the goddess. What do you tear from? That's a Norse god. A male Norse god, I should mention. It's all over. Oh, explosions happen. Dodge. Take this slime. Ah, oh, he's on fire. You didn't even flinch. He does the Sephiroth thing. Before there was a Sephiroth. Come on. Is that all you've got? <laughs> There's the rest of the prologue. When the dragon family was at the peak of its power, a goddess of desire appeared. The goddess, Myria, granted wishes. The dragons fought each other for her power. Myria encouraged the fighting and watched the war between the dragons escalate. When the world was at the brink of destruction, a warrior stepped forward. 
Not that guy. Or the other guy. The warrior battled Myria with his seven companions and locked her up using six keys. These goddess keys are scattered throughout the world and hidden away. See, that didn't happen in Breath of Fire 4. Myria wasn't even in that game. So I don't think that was the prequel. A lot of people say it is, but I, I say otherwise. Myria was only in, in this one and in 3. The light dragons balanced the power of the family and peace reigned again. How come when I was a kid and I was playing this, I didn't realize how Star Wars-y it is? Alright, I'm actually going to stop here. I will see you guys real soon with the next part.